everybody, thanks so much for tuning in and check out this episode. This is a update for my European hornet nest that I have been watching all spring slash summer um, out in my front yard. Um, you see these guys are excavating out soil and you get to see how they actually bunch up the soil by this one here in the entrance way is clearing out um, a little bit off the side and it bunches it up by squeezing its whole body over the soil and then it carries it. So wild. So unfortunately this nest has met its demise due to a predator. And I've said this in the comments several times, ask, uh, answering people as to like what actually is the yellow jackets or wasps um, predator, and it's skunks, or possums, or raccoons. Unlikely predators, but that's what they are. So this was this nest was destroyed by a local skunk. I came out one morning to film it, and there's comb scattered, absolutely no adults left, and. I couldn't believe it. So it was really devastating to see that because I had been following these guys for, you know, several weeks, you know, almost like a month and a half. So I had actually gotten a call from my parents that there was a skunk out and about at their house. So I went over there right away because I wanted to show you guys what skunks actually do to wasp nests. So I took over a uh, chunk of comb from the European hornet nest and I offered it to this skunk. everybody so check out my skunk friend here who's coming I'm going to take this European hornet nest so as you can see European hornet nest so I started clicking to it try to get it to come to me. It was coming to me when I did that, so I thought that was pretty cool. Skunk. It's a little guy. European hornet nest. Sees it. This is not a pet. This is a wild skunk. You just look at it going to town on it. Oh my god, dude, money shot. <laughs> oh, dude. Very excited to see this in first person and film, be able to film it. People ask about the predators of wasps. This is a predator of wasps. This is why they're so defensive and they sting everybody. Because they have their own predators and they got to keep their nest safe. This is probably the same skunk that killed the nest that I was filming and relocated. Come on buddy, flip it over. I can take it away. Do it right here. The nest I'm referring to there is the Delica Vespula arenaria nest that I relocated from the rail trail. I don't want him spraying my camera. There it is. Get it! Get it buddy! Get it! He was so cute to watch. He just just was so playful and um, they're they're actually a weasel very similar to a ferret or you know the typical weasel like the people think about like hunting chickens and things um, so it's in the same family and they scavenge for insects and primarily um, they will definitely hunt down wasps especially ground wasps we have a new YouTube star And he was just going to town on this nest. And it was so cool to watch that up close because I throw out my nests at nighttime after the chickens had their way with them and I don't want them anymore. And something always takes them off and they're cleaned up by the next morning. And this is what they probably do. Just sit and munch away at it and drag it away to wherever their house is. I also did this with a um, another eastern yellow jacket nest that I had um, removed from somebody's house, and tossed it to it first, and went to turn you know hit hit record, and I didn't have a camera card in, so that was really unfortunate. Man, you see that big larvae just got in his mouth there, and he he looks kind of mangy, but it's actually he was playing with the hose. He was literally like f like flipping around like a cat, like playing with the hose, 
and uh, it was it had a little bit of spritz to it, and um, and he was drinking it and just having a ball with it. It was so cute watching him play. He was like bouncing around and frolicking and almost looked like the skunk from Bambi. Just look at that face. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. He didn't make any noises or anything. I was kind of hoping to get a noise, of, you know, like kind of like how ferrets make that noise. I was kind of hoping to hear him make a noise, but he didn't make any noises. He was just, he was just happy to be getting a snack. It's neat to see this kind of skunk that has a, a primarily a lot of white on it as opposed to white stripes. It's kind of more like he has one solid black stripe in the center and like one solid black or solid white back and pretty much solid white tail. This wouldn't be very common for them to find a European hornet nest, just because they would be in a tree or a cavity somewhere. Um, so it's interesting to see him tear into this one, because this is a very, very tough nest, as opposed to an eastern yellow jacket nest in the ground, which is very, very delicate and breaks apart very easily. Um, so I could totally understand them digging that out and just, like, killing the adults and um, eating the... pretty much just eating the whole comb, just the way it is with the larva in it and everything. I just flipped there over there. <laughs> so cool to see him do that. He was carrying it around quite a bit and dragging it and everything else and flipping it over onto his head and then pushing it around. And I just think he has the cutest little face. But he has good sized teeth. Almost look like cat teeth. That was a good larva there that he got. And you can see there's actually a partially formed adult there that he's kind of nibbling at. They're in various stages of pupation. My mom was asking if there was just larva in there or if they were just adults inside underneath those caps. We were having a ball just watching him run around and which is really pretty, really pretty animal. He had to do a little bit of a burr patch, there was a lot of burrs in his fur. At first I thought they were ticks, but they were, they were just burrs. Those little ears. <laughs> A cute little thing. Got long fingernails for good digging. There's the head of a pupating adult. Kind of has that creamy white look about it. He was consistently on this thing for probably a good 20 minutes. Definitely seemed hungry and seemed thirsty. So it was nice to have the hose out and giving him something to drink and then watching him really go to town on this larva that we're going to go to waste anyway.
Now, skunks don't have great eyesight, so he really didn't know I was there filming him, um, unless I made noise to kind of draw him over so he could see the nest or whatever. But he certainly had a lot of fun with that. But no video is uh, is the same without having my girls, so from that from that uh, from that video of me tweezing all the larvae out, this is the catch. So this is all the Western Yellow Jackets larvae that I pulled out. So I didn't want to deprive you guys of not seeing my girls and seeing them eat all the larvae that I took all that time to pluck out. Sure loved them. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this and you like my new skunk friend, please drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you guys coming back and supporting my channel. Um, I'm going to drop the link for my crowdfunding campaign with the GoFundMe page in the description. If you guys would like to donate, that's there for you guys to do so. Thanks so much for donating for all you who have, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.